Okay, so it's time to cut in the roof. Uh, I don't have anybody to hold the camera, but we'll see how it works. I have this thing called a scriber. And I'm scribing. So I want that to be a perfect match when I cut it. And I guess I can see it all the way across. So next I gotta bring this down to here and then go across there. And then I'll worry about the back. But this roof was caved in when we got the truck. You can see where it's all bent up down in here. And the back's the same way. And it was dished out and it was full of dead leaves and it rusted right through. So it's all full of holes anyway. So without further ado, I'm gonna start cutting and hacking.
straight as I wanted it. Uh, that's what I have to do. Uh, easy, big fat one. so that probably is useless. How do I shut this thing off? So I came pretty close to the line most of the way across. But when I got towards the end here, I drifted too far. So I gotta get some more of that off and get this all trimmed nice and even across the front. And I can put my roof panel back in place. Okay, so now we got the clamps holding that and it's all lined up ready to weld. But I can't weld it now because I still have to, now that everything is permanently attached, I gotta get inside here 
and uh, scribe the lines. Where's my flashlight? I can't even see what I'm doing. Ouch. Yeah, there we go. Uh, I can't. I can't hold the camera and do this because I have to push down on the roof with one hand and and all that. But I'll get that all marked off over there, across the back. This corner's got to be pushed up a little bit, and uh, maybe this can be pushed down a little bit. I don't know. But I'll get that done. And then let's start welding. Well, it's all cut out. Uh, but now that I get it, got the light hitting it the right way, I can see all kinds of little problems that need a hammer and dolly to straighten them out. It's all this. Um, there's a thing here. I think it's even got a low spot here in the front. So uh, I'll get to work on it with a, yeah, this is all caved in here. A lump there. It's a lot of work with a hammer and dolly and it's noisy, so I'll shut the camera off and start beating on it. Yeah, my light tipped over and almost started a fire. I guess it's pretty hot. My particle board table is kind of flammable. Anyway, I got it all deburred and hammered out. Now I gotta cut a few strips out of these pieces here. I'll show you why when I get, get to it. So these are the pieces I made here. Notice they all got a 1 8 inch hole in them. And that's because I'm going to Maybe I should turn it around and use the other end. I'll be here all day trying to show you how smart I am. Okay. It isn't working much better if I didn't have a camera in my hand. Yeah, I went through. Maybe find a holster. get the idea I got to put this camera down so there they are all installed there's one there one there I got one dead center in the front one here in the back another one on this corner and one here now that's so the uh, roof doesn't fall right through when I put it on uh, I call these uh, poor man's Clico because they're cheap and disposable and uh, you just drill them out and it's just a little hole, the same as you'd have with a Clico. It's got to be welded over. I don't know. It doesn't... It might be working right. Who knows? Let's huh. give it a try anyway and I'll take it in and check later. Mm. Can't reach it from there, right? No, I can't reach that from here. I have to unplug 
can go back over. And go through the cab and around this way. Um, I probably could. Put it in the cab, I guess. That's all. On this spot here looks really nice. Maybe I should hit it right here. This yeah. Front, this top corner here. We'll have to take the cutter and clean up this area right here. But this spot right here. And really good shape. We should really maybe tack it while I'm right here. Okay, you want to clean it up with this thing first? Two spots on there. That's good. One's kind of got the hydraulic port of power holding the roof in place. And we got most of that this side welded. We're gonna go do so the other side before we get to the back and uh, try to work our way around it. You see uh, in here where the gap is too wide we stuck a piece of coat hanger wire in there. Got to hammer that down and grind it down later. But uh, and we're gonna need a filler piece here. But we'll worry about that later. We gotta worry about the other side first. And uh, so far we're happy with it, right Richard? Yep, definitely. Okay, then I guess I can take this clamp off of here and we can go work on the other side. Well, it's starting to look like a whole roof again. The side's all done, nice. And uh, pieced together, stitch welded here and there. But it all lines up. The other side's done too. Just uh, got to go across the back now. And uh, as long as I'm rolling, let's uh, Richard decided he wanted a fenderless roadster, so we yanked the whole nose off. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, he lives in New Hampshire. New Hampshire, you have to verify the VIN number with the DMV. And this is the number, believe it or not. You probably can't read it. I know I can't without my glasses on. But it is there. So in order to get the VIN number verified, he's going to have to take it over to the DMV on a trailer so they can see the number and verify it. Then we can bring it back and put it back together again. So we lubed up the door latches and now both doors will stay closed. We've been messing around with those long enough. I don't know why we didn't fix them in the first place. But now we got door latches, we got a roof. And uh, well on our way to burning rubber. I want to see how much rubber we can burn with four big wheels on the back. And we found a good front spring. Uh, 
thought about changing the whole front axle, but the kingpins are kind of rusted solid. But this one's got sway bars and uh, pan hard bars and uh, all kinds of goodies. Even got the steering knob, or whatever you call it, drag link. But I don't know. We may just change the spring because it might be the easiest way to go. Oh, when I was cutting out the, uh, the roof, I tried to uh, film it for you people, but then my camera started taking still shots instead. And when I downloaded it to the computer, I had 365 still photos of me cutting the roof. So I didn't know how to put that all together. So I deleted them. So next time I cut out a roof panel, I'll make sure you people can watch. So be sure you um, like and subscribe and uh, and uh, do all kinds of stuff. You know, comments, that would be nice. Somebody can criticize what we're doing or, or tell us how great we're doing. So, uh, so that's it for this video. I guess I'm going to try to download what's left here and uh, put it all together and see how much time it's taken.